This video covers the installation of Multi-Tool Prepared. I'm going to break the operation of the program into a um, series of videos and that's going to make it easier for you to find the features that you're after rather than being wrapped up into one massive big long video. So once you've downloaded the zip file, extract it, take the folder that it produced and put that into your My Documents and you should have a prepared v3 files or v2 files whichever you're running um, paste it in there and then if you open up the folder you'll see the executable and all the config files now the first time you run it you'll want to run prepared before you start up the executable um, after you've done all the setup it doesn't matter which order you start them in so i've got prepared already running um, the reason it needs to be running is um, my multi-tool executable looks at the running program to figure out the paths and where things are located. So if we run my executable, So the first time you run it, it's going to bring up this little nag screen here telling you about the cameras that you need to install to get all the features. If you don't install these cameras, you'll miss out on a lot of things that have been programmed into the program. Now your cameras file does get backed up when you install these cameras, so there is no dangers with, um, with losing anything. So if you have a 3D monitor, projector or television and you're intending to use the 3D features then you'll want to use this install all cameras. If you only have two dimensional then you can get away with only add 2D cameras. Now I'll just um, actually flick on to showing you the um, camera directory just so you can see that it um, does actually do a backup when this happens. Um, so here's my camera CFG. I'm going to install all the cameras. And um, you see here it's created a backup with a date stamp on it. Now, um, P3D does need to be restarted before these cameras become available. So once you've done that, um, shut down P3D restart it and then we'll carry on with um, the remainder of the setup. So P3D's um, finishing rebooting, I've started multi-tool. We can see um, this screen here shows it's um, connected with SimConnect. Um, if we jump onto the camera setup page, um, because we did just install those cameras, all these indicators here show in green, if you had elected not to install those cameras then these here would be red and you still have the option of installing them but like we did before you have to restart P3D once they've been installed. If you're going to be using um, Track IR and want some of the additional features that I put in for head tracking here there's um, three more cameras. This button here installs those. The only other setup thing we need to do um, will apply to some people, not others, in the aircraft tab. If you've got any non-standard folders containing SIM objects, um, then you'll want to add entries into this box here telling the program where they are. Now, at the moment I'm running version 3, so my um, normal path is um, it's an X drive but I've got mappings here to um, some shared folders in my version 2. So um, I've pointed it to these shared airplanes and shared rotorcraft folder. Um, the standard folder for some objects it's going to scan automatically, but um, it needs to know of any other places to scan to pick up aircraft names and information. So if you want to add additional entries where some objects are located you can either double click on here and enter them or you could alternatively do it in the um, config files here there's one called 
some object paths and you can make entries in here. So once you've set up the cameras plus any additional paths where some objects are kept, the only other thing you potentially might want to do is add an automatic startup to the exe.xml file, which means the multi-tool would run whenever you start P3D. If you want to do that, then first of all you want to go to the directory where exe.xml is kept. There is a shortcut here on the cameras page, um, open directory containing cameras.cfg, it's the same directory, so if you click on that, that opens. If you don't have an exe.xml at all in your prepared directory, then what you'd want to do would be copy um, this file here that I've given you, paste it into the Lockheed Martin prepared folder, rename it exe.xml and um, that'll be a starting point which you can add other entries to later on if, if you need to. If you've already got one then you'll just want to um, copy the relevant bit which is this section starting and finishing at launch add-on. We'll um, open this for editing and we'll paste this new um, startup entry into it and save it. So that means um, the program will automatically boot but this is an entirely optional step you can manually start the program as well. So that's it for installation. There'll be another sequence of videos which will start to work through all these program tabs um, showing you what all the features do. The features are covered briefly in the video that does a very quick run through but that doesn't cover all the settings. So if you want to know what all the settings um, do then find the appropriate video and have a look.